In today's video, I want to talk about one of my favorite Excel features, and that's using filters. Filters allows you to go ahead and remove from your eyesight data that you don't want to look at. But it doesn't delete it from the worksheet. You can still reveal that at a future time, and it's just a great way to quickly look at data. Filters are put on tables by default, but the data that I have here on the screen is information that I downloaded from Gmetrics, and this is my student data. It's just like a data dump. And so I don't need to make it pretty. I just need to look at a few things. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and select my headers and this, this set of information just to set my filters. Now you could select A1 to G1, or what I normally do is just select the row that the headers are in. And then once I've done that, I want to go to the data tab here at the top and in the sort and filter, I have this button called filter. And then notice it went ahead and put these little boxes here with the triangle. And because I just selected the row, there must have been some type of information loaded or some formatting for it to add those extra ones. But for this, I just want to be able to filter the data. So it's not important. If you don't like that, you can easily just unfilter it and then select the header and then go ahead and reselect filter and it'll put it in just those columns. When I'm looking at this data, there are a lot of things you can do. For example, I don't want to look at these training scores. It means nothing to me at this point. Um, it's not information I need to look at. So if I click this little drop down here, it shows me everything is listed in this column. All I have to do is uncheck training and click OK. And it went ahead and pulled out the training data. So if you look here on this left hand side, it goes from two to five in my rows and then five, seven, eight, eleven, and then it jumps to twenty five. So and these little sections these gaps if i double click i can reveal those again but it's just letting me know that there's hidden information here there are other ways to filter for example this score i don't want to look at anything less than 900 and so that's easy enough to do if i go to my number filters i can do greater than or equal to and we'll do 900 for this and we'll click ok and it went ahead and it pulled out even more information it's not showing me anything that falls below that threshold and so as I'm still looking at these things, it would be nice if I had the first name here sorted alphabetically. Well, that's something I can do with this filter. If I click the drop down here, I can click A to Z. And notice it went ahead and it resorted this data for me. So now it's in alphabetical order. Maybe as I'm looking through this, I don't want to look at all of these tests. As you can see, I have Word, I have 1, 2, 3 testing, I have PowerPoint, Excel. Maybe I just want to look at Word. So I can actually click here and click un or select all and notice that it removed all of my check boxes here and we'll go ahead and we'll select test one and two for word and we'll click OK. And then, you know, I'm looking over this information even further. You know, I only want to look at specific days that this was done. So let's look at the end of October. We'll do the 31st, the 25th, 24th and the 22nd and we'll click OK. And I was able to even further filter my information so now all I can see is that these students right here they got the scores I asked them to do I'm gonna go ahead and log that in a different sheet for me so I can keep my records and you know what I'm not limited here maybe I I want to reveal all this again that's easy enough to do with that filter selected I can click select all click OK and it went ahead and it brought back information I can remove all of my filters by being in the data and being on the data tab and clicking in the sort and filter click clear and it released all of my filters and so filters are a great way to quickly look at information and, and bring in and out information as you look at your data set